water softeners, water distillers, da 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 da, all those things are taking out all the minerals. And that could be part of the problem. But I think it's something else. The reason I say I think it's something else is no matter how much magnesium people take, if they stop taking it, they get deficient again. So I, I have to do more research on it, but I haven't seen a good explanation. So, so yeah, magnesium and water are or what we'll call hard water, calcium magnesium. The problem with hard water is it's also perhaps going to bring too much calcium into the system and create hardening of the arteries. I don't, I don't know if that's been exactly proven, but there's different things. But nevertheless, there's a problem that people aren't holding on to magnesium. That's where I have to say. So I'm finding that um, like 96% are low in, in iodine. I, I'm kind of thinking that we should look at magnesium that way, that most everybody, if you have to take a guess, is going to be magnesium deficient. People get spasms, fasciculations. If you get too alkaline, you can, you know, you, you'll drop magnesium. It's a long story. I'm just explaining that. Um, but, uh, you know, muscle twitchings just very lightly. Muscle, not tremors, but, you, you know, your, your muscles flick a little bit. Do you know what I'm saying here? Spasms. Not spasms. It's just flicking. It's, it's less than spasm. Twitching, yeah. And then there's spasms, muscle cramps. They're all related to low magnesium. And I think, and heart rate imbalances, uh, weakened heart rate, and also high blood pressure is associated with low magnesium. When you get enough magnesium, it relaxes the arteries and the blood pressure drops. But it also strengthens the heart which means you, you can drop the blood pressure a little bit, too. So I kind of throw out all those little pieces to help you kind of understand the importance of magnesium. I find that it varies from one teaspoon to three tablespoons a, a day, or even four. And how do you know? Well, you want a steady heart rate. You want no twitches, no spasms, no... Um, um, muscle cramps, then you're, you know, you're on the right track.